So we're doing another uh, rain barrel installation at this location. There's uh, a lot of rain water that comes through this drain. Okay, so we're just going to put a diverter here and then put a rain barrel in this location right here. So in order for us to prepare for the for the, uh, the installation, we need to have like a firm base on which the rain barrel will rest because the rain barrel will have about 220 liters of uh, water inside, so it's heavy. So it needs a solid base. So um, I think it's best to have some kind of a, uh, like a brick uh, or a cinder block uh, base. Uh, it has an added benefit of raising the barrel a little bit so that the bottom spout for the barrel, which we'll see in a minute, can be uh, made more accessible. So what we have done is uh, we have also uh, created a, um, a wooden base here, uh, again uh, made from uh, recycled wood and it's pretty solid and we are going to place it on top of the, the bricks that we have placed over there. So it's going to go like this, it's a, it's a square base, uh, 24 inch or 2 feet uh, on each side uh, which uh, you know fits nicely with the, the tank right here, the tank diameter is also 2 feet or 24 inches. So just going to place it here to make sure that it sits firmly, it doesn't rock. Okay, and then even it's, it, it's placed evenly on the, the two brick layers. You may need to adjust the brick layer a little bit. Okay, so you can see here I can stand on it, it's pretty solid. So you can place our rain barrel on top of this. So that's our rain barrel, um, it's got a 55 gallon capacity. And that's uh, that's the hole through which the, the water goes inside. It's going to be a distributor that gets put on, on on this, and we'll see in a minute. You can actually swap the position of these two. This one is closed. That one is open. You can swap if you want to. If you want to have, um, see that's the that's the the bottom spout locations. If you want the spout location other way around, then you may need to turn this around depending on where you're going to put the distributor or the diverter. Let's place this on top again. Make sure that it's placed centrally on the platform, which it is. And this is the spout. And since our garden faces that way, it's best to have the, the spout facing that way. We need to make sure that uh, this uh, entry point is closer to the to the drain, so we don't have a, a, a long uh, flexible cable to connect. So. This has to be as close to the drain as possible. So this is the the distributor. Uh, it's got one side open, and this is where we are going to connect the, the flexible hose. The other side is closed. Uh, if we want to connect, say for example, two rain barrels in series, then you can cut this open, and then you can have another flexible hose that can connect to another T uh, T junction like this on another end barrel and off you go. So you can have actually many of these in series and increase your capacity. So this goes in here, it's actually just a, a force fit. And it goes inside smoothly. It's actually quite flexible. And you just place it inside and just rock it into, into place. And since the rain diverter is going to be located over there, this will be uh, made to point slightly towards that thing so that there's no kink in the flexible cable. So that's what we'll do. We'll connect it like so. Okay. The other thing that you need to connect is the, the bottom spout, and it's got two parts. That's the, the that's the on and off uh, uh, like a tap, and this one goes inside. It's got two sets of screws. This one connects to the the tap here, but this one here. It's a self-tapping uh, uh, adapter. It threads itself into that hole over there. You see that hole is not accessible from the inside because it, uh, the barrel is closed. We're just going to tap it into place. And that's what we'll do here. So after a while it gets really difficult to tap it in. So you need a spanner. This is a heavy duty spanner, but you got to be careful that you don't end up damaging this because this is plastic. So you got to be gentle with it. You 
can see it's tapping itself into place and in between you see there is a rubber gasket here so when this thing is completely tapped inside the rubber gasket presses against the, uh, the plastic and completely seals the connection so there is no leakage here so now we need to install what we call as a, a, a rainfall uh, diverter so what it does is that it diverts the water coming from your roof instead of sending it to the drain and outside it diverts it to the rain barrel okay the way it works is you can see here uh, water from the drain goes from the top here and then it goes flows this way and then flows down and then this thing can be opened and you can connect one of these devices here and then that sends the rain water into the rain barrel when the rain barrel is full then the water starts to rise in here and then it goes uh, above this and then down into your drain so one end of the drain coming from the top gets connected here the drain going down gets connected here so when the rain barrel is full it will start to overflow and then it will go into the drain and then it will discharge into uh, the storm sewer or wherever you want to discharge the other option is you see these two holes here you can actually connect couple of uh, gardening hoses here so when the, the the barrel overflows the excess water goes and goes into your you know uh, soil beds and, and and lawn and stuff instead of uh, going to the, the the sewer so that option is also available so there are two holes here there are two holes here so you can theoretically connect four different hoses and use four different uh, uh, tubes to uh, to irrigate your different parts of your lawn see this also has another attachment on the other side so you can if you want connect two uh, rain barrels to one uh, diverter so one on this side one on this side so you can have two of them and uh, later on we'll show you we have connected one uh, diverter with two rain barrels and we'll, we'll show you a picture of uh, of that uh, installation later okay so let's do that Let's prepare our uh, rain barrel for uh, installation. So we are not going to use these four ports for now. So we're just going to block it. This thing comes with a whole bunch of accessories here, which we can use. So th there are actually four uh, closing plugs in here that we'll put in these locations. You can see these are the, the four plugs that we're going to use to plug these four holes here later on if we need it we can open it we can open one of them and replace it with the with a, 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 a connector like this and this will connect to a gardening hose but right now we'll keep them closed you can open them on demand if you want to later Okay, now you gotta go and, and examine your uh, uh, the, the drain pipe. And depending on the, what kind of drain pipe you have, you need to have one of these one of these adapters inserted at the bottom. So this one is for a, a, a two by three uh, type of connector, which is like rectangular. This one is for a square. Okay, so you can see this cross section is square. So if you go to our uh, See that this is actually a square piece, it's a 2x2. Two two. Okay, so we'll have to use one of these uh, to connect to this pipe. So this goes at the bottom of the rain barrel right here. And the way it is installed is that the rain barrel, this thing is towards the wall like this. Right? So this thing here has got to be towards the wall. And then it goes and fits in here. Actually, there's a locking mechanism so which basically locks it in place. If you want to remove it, you just have to push it hard and it will come out again. But it's got a, a, like a latch-in mechanism here which is basically locks this in place. So it will go somewhere here and then from here it will connect to the rain bag. So very simple installation but again, you, know, you have to measure it uh, correctly and install it at the right height. Otherwise, the water will not flow and uh, things won't work properly. So on the open side, we are going to install this connector, but then this connector needs to have a, a little mesh. 
it is there to trap the debris and everything that don't go in and uh, don't end up into your uh, rain barrel so you're just gonna place this here right and then connect this on this side here so again this needs to be connected properly so that it doesn't leak make sure that the mesh is in place when you're connecting it again hand tighten it no need to tighten it too much because it's all uh, leak proof so the rain barrel diverter is ready for installation so we got the square adapter at the bottom we connected the uh, the, the flexible hose connector we have plugged the four garden hose holes so the only way the water is going to come out is going to go in from here and then go down here and then come out from there okay and when it overflows it will go and can go and flow from over this and into the drain so the barrel has couple of holes here sorry the diverter has couple of holes here so we just need to make sure that those holes are open this is where you put screws to attach it to the, your drain okay so just take a, a drill, a small drill, and then just uh, open these, these holes. One and two. Okay, and they provide screws that come with it. So just put those screws in place. Go all the way up to there, perhaps, and on the other side too. So this way you'll be ready for for installation when when the drain is prepared for installation. Okay. So now we need to decide you know where exactly we are going to to mount this uh, this uh, diverter. Right. Now you can pretty much mount it anywhere, but the constraint here is the the length of the uh, the flexible hose that we have available. Right? But the tank cannot move any closer. This thing has to be in wherever it is. So the distance we have to decide based on the, the maximum length that we have on the flexible hose. So one way of doing it is actually to connect the flexible hose uh, to the to the adapter here and to the adapter here, and then decide which one gives you the the least amount of stretching in the in the, in the flexible hose. So that's what we'll do. That's good enough. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna mark the top using a, a pencil like this. Okay. Remember that this is just a line for your reference. You need to mark another line one inch below. That's where you cut the pipe. Similarly, you mark the bottom here, right? And then mark another line one inch above, and that's where you cut the second one. In fact, you can what you can do is you can just mark it here because that's where the the the, the top of the pipe is gonna be. You can actually mark this line here as well like so because that's where the, the bottom of this pipe is going to be okay so you can see at this distance from here to here is one inch and uh, this distance from here to here is one inch okay so you're gonna cut it here and you're gonna cut it there This is the line that we cut, not this line, okay? Similarly, this is the line that we cut, not that line.
so this pipe you know i could remove it from the thing you know sometimes it's not always possible but this was convenient is i could remove it now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to put the screws in here so that it's installed with the diverter and i'm going to put it back to where i took it out from so um, life isn't convenient like this all the time but this time it is and you're going to take it same on the other side okay the barrel is installed so water comes from the roof right all the rainfall that falls on the roof comes through here on at least on the what do you call the north side of the, the house and it comes here and then we'll go through the barrel and then go in so through the diverter into the uh, the rain barrel and then when the rain barrel is full it will overflow into the, the drain and then leave okay so later on we can open these and connect garden hoses if you want uh, these things that are plugged right now you can have garden hoses and then you can send it to uh, you know the garden patch here perhaps right a longer one can go and uh, go into the other patch so we'll connect this to the, to the thing and you can see here connect it so you can make sure that you don't pull unnecessarily on the on the barrel right so Make sure your barrel is in place. Once once it fills, it'll be firmly in place. Right now it's empty. That's why it moves about. So that's about it. So we have had a bit of a rainfall this uh, yesterday night and this morning it was uh, less than a millimeter but it filled up this this rain barrel and if i open this here you will see where you now it will go all the way up see it's got the rain barrel is full in fact there is water inside this as well that's why it shows the thing higher than it's actually talking to that level over there so there's this thing is also full of water this whole thing is full of water and so is this guy Okay. Can you hear? Right? So this there was water in here as well. So the way it is connected right now is that this tank gets full and then water starts to flow instead of going down it starts to flow this way and then goes to the last barrel in that uh, sequence over there. Okay, so that's like the overflow barrel. When that gets full as well then it will start to rise in here and then we'll go and drain from from the drain outside so all the rainfall that we've had today there has been absolutely no output from that drain today it's all been collected here barrel is full okay it's got the water up to there so we're gonna connect it to the drip irrigation system right here
right and we just open the tap and it should be good to go there it is